All right, so this is what we're going to have fun with today. So I start with putting my anchor dots in each of my corners. And then connect each dot to make a border. So now I've got my border. And this time I decided I wanted to do kind of a, a wavy line that went from one side, bounced off the edge, and came out the other side. So bounce off the edge and come over and bounce off the other side, kind of like that. And then I want kind of out of this middle part, I'm going to draw a line that goes up and curves to one side or the other, just like that. Once I've done my strings, I'm going to get started with my pen. And I'm going to be drawing a zigzag line that crosses this pencil line but it's got a little bit of a curve to it, kind of like a swinging back and forth thing that I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna start at the edge of my border line and I'm gonna come swing down this way and swing back this way. And it's gonna land right down there where all three of those, all those pencil lines meet. That's the beginning of this pots and pans tangle right there. The next step for pots and pans is I'm going to come down this right side and I'm going to come from the tip and I'm going to draw another curved line that lands on this swing line right below a little ways in from the tip. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing going the other direction on the other side. This time I'm going to come down and I'm just going to match it up with the bottom of the one that's already there. Now I, I like to have another one kind of sitting in the top. So I'm going to put a, just a dot out here above. And I'm going to curve that one down in that way and down in this way. So the next step, you see these little black parts here? That's what we're doing next. So we're coming from, again, we're going to work down one side and then the other side. So I'm going down the right side, and each of these points, I'm going to curve a line back up and stop. So each of those little triangular shapes that we've just put in there get filled in. So what I'm going to do next is add some decorations to each of these, kind of really accentuate the layering effect that's happening. So along this top line here, I'm going to draw a couple of lines that start from the lower line and curve up. I'm going to put two of those near each other. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go back to my pencil because when I do this one that's a variation on doodah, I want to know where the other side is before I begin. So I'm going to draw a parallel line coming out like this and just kind of following. I'm going to go, I'm going to bring doodah clear off the edge. Now to connect the doodah to this, I want to recreate those parallel lines, the little space. So I'm going to go right along the edge of this, this one, right inside of it, and come all the way out. And then I'm actually going to go outside this time, so I can keep that nice space right there. I've got my pathway ready. I'm going to start doing my doodahs. So I'm just going to pick a spot, like say right here, and I'm going to draw a line from the top inner edge aiming down toward the bottom inner edge, but I'm going to stop before I touch it. About like that. Now I've got a space down here. I'm going to come down next to it. I'm going to come down that 
about the same amount of space and draw another line that goes down and touches. So I've got one that comes from the top like a stalactite and one that goes up from the bottom like a stalagmite. And the space between the lines and the spaces from the top to the bottom, they don't all have to match, but mine kind of automatically do because I can't help myself. Um, so I'm just going to keep going back and forth. Okay, once all my lines are drawn on there, I'm going to go in and do some embellishments to them. At the end of each of my little lines that's in, in the space here, where, before it touches, I'm going to put a little ball of ink right on the end. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, see how on this doodah, it's kind of rounded? How I do that is by where the line connects on this outer edge or that outer edge, I put a little bit of ink to round that corner off. The next one is called Sanibel. This one here, we're going to put that one right along the edge here. I'm going to start over here on this edge and I'm going to do a lumpy blob like that. And I'm going to put a few lumpy blobs that are next to each other. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these lines inside those blobs and they're going to start looking like shells. So I'm going to come from right where the point of between the blobs, between the lumps is, and I'm going to just arc a line down and land it on the top of my doodah. It doesn't matter where it goes, but I'm going to have these other ones do the same thing. Okay, the last one I'm going to show you is one that's the triangular one. This is called Tripoli, and I'm going to start a line that's a little curved right outside my doodah, and then I'm going to come right along my pencil line for the one another edge of the triangle, and I'm going to curve another edge. So now I've got a triangle that's right in that space between the doodah and my pencil border line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another triangle right along this borderline, but this time the base of the triangle, I'm going to leave a little extra space there, and the base of my triangle is going to go right along parallel to my doodah right there. And then I'm going to draw a couple of lines out. And my lines are, are a little bit curvy. They're not absolutely straight. And then in this space right here between the, I've got two there right now. I'm going to put a triangle in this space between them that's upside down. So I'm going to echo those two lines like this. So now I've got three triangles. So the next triangle is going to be in, along this I'm just going to keep building my triangles right here along this line. So this next one is going to be upside down. It's going to look like this one. And then there's going to be one that looks like that one. So when I come out here, there'll be a base.
Okay, so now I've got one going this way. Then there'll be another upside down one. And another one with the base. And that's good enough to fill up that space right there. I could put some here, but I think they're gonna get too tiny and I'm, I'm fine without filling that in. So I'm gonna do more over here. And when I was looking at this design, I was like, the triangles are nice, but they're a little empty. But if I make them too busy, then they'll compete with the doodah and the Sanibel. So I opted to just put a circle of ink right in the middle. Now we're gonna work, go to the shading. If we have time, I will show you another cute little embellishment to add on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shade my pots and pans first. Where this, the top one, is going to tuck underneath the one it's sitting in. Down here on this bottom one, I'm going to put a little shading right outside, outside of it on both sides so that it pops out in front of the doodah. Do the same thing on the outside of the ones that overlap the Sanibel. Now the next, I'm going to do some shading on the Sanibel. So this Sanibel, I'm going to shade by putting a little bit of ink right where every, all of the lines landed, or not ink, pencil. A little bit of graphite right where all of the things landed. The other place I'm going to put a little graphite is outside the edge where they come in front of the one next to it. We could add some shading down here if we want to have that the doodah float up above the, the Tripoli. So on my sample, I had put these little curly Q fescue things coming out of the top of my pots and pans. And I'm going to put just a couple of these coming out. So one's going to come this way. It's got a little teardrop shape on the end. I'm putting some space between them because I'm going to just put some little dots in a little halo around those little buds. No, and then just find a spot and tuck your initials in. 